Hey guys, Trendus here. What's up? Uh, today we got more one test video. Here in this jar, I got almost uh, full of jar uh, tactical switches. This little plastic bastards contain some silver dots, and uh, today I will extract. I will extract only silver from them. I will burn that plastic, press that plastic, remove all the plastic part to stay only metal part then with some acid I will remove everything I will stay only with the silver with the silver okay so let's put that on the scale to see how much we got these tactical switches and uh, see how many silver we can get him and is this stuff actually a worth to collect you know me I always love to play with this stuff and uh, to make some tests to see it's actually some item on the boards worth to be collected or not okay let's start okay it's time to put that on the scale let's see the scale on zero yes it is and this is all our tactical switches Here I got some different shape and color. Everything is actually our tactical switch. See that? Okay, let's see how many gram we have. 300, 357 gram, okay. 357 gram, okay. So you see that this is one big tactical switch and you see that dot inside in the middle it's from silver everything else is a normal copper and nickel nickel plated copper but that dot in the middle is a silver here too and this blue one see that hear that this is a tactical switch okay guys so after I burn that I will crush all that plastic then I will wash that with the water and uh, leave only metal part on the bottom and all the light plastic will flush away after that we are process all that metal part in the S okay Hey guys, after uh, I crush all that, I wash that with water to remove all the tiny part and the next step when you have clean water, no more fine dust, uh, just with a finger crush every single piece which you find, see that, just remove all the big part of that burn plastic and the next step to remove all the base metal which we don't need in our beaker like this one this is actually a box see that this is only a box from the metal box from the tactical switches uh, you remove you remove them with the magnet why because the part which actually are carrying a silver plate dot like this one it's not magnetic see that see that don't fit with the magnet 
but this outside part it is magnetic so just with the magnet in the water you remove all the magnetic part and this is a mostly a box and nothing else no silver plated part on a magnet because the metal which care a silver dot which carrying a silver dot is uh, not magnetic see the best way to move all the extra metal okay when I finish and I clean all that I will show you what we have from material to process okay Okay guys, so right now in this beaker, I'm gonna show you that one, right? See that? We have all non-magnetic material. This is a mostly uh, middle part with a silver plate button and uh, some uh, dot, copper dot. So the next step is uh, actually to remove the rest of the base metal and we will do that with a simple way and the cheapest way hypochloric acid and uh, hydrogen peroxide 3% or hypochloric acid and uh, copper 2 chloride or the piece burn copper inside here we got some burnt copper, so we actually we can put only hydrochloric acid and put that on the fire, and the reaction will start very soon. For this amount, we will need about uh, maybe a half a liter or more hydrochloric acid to remove all that metal junk and leave only silver little dot. Here we got still some uh, of that burnt plastic, the bigger parts, but no problem because uh, the acid will destroy all that part in the tiny little pieces and we are washed that with water on the end, okay? So let's add some acid and put that on a heat, okay? Okay guys, so in this beaker I have our contact from uh, tactical switches and I have some hydrochloric acid sorry about that sound it's so windy outside and some traffic it's very hard on the road my next step is to turn some heat and add this is a hydrogen a hydrogen peroxide 3% and I will add that just to speed up little process and I will leave that for a couple of hours on the low heat and I hope so that uh, all the base metal will go of course I need to increase or change this amount of hydrochloric acid and all the base metal will go in the hydrochloric acid and silver will stay on the bottom of the beaker because hydrochloric acid cannot dissolve silver okay Okay guys, after a long time on the low heat, I uh, decan solution and this is how it look our solution, hydrochloric acid, our AP solution and uh, I add a new batch 
so I will leave that on the low heat for more couple of hours see that inside some amount is removed but we need to remove a lot of more base metal okay okay guys after I remove all the base metal this is all the sediment which I left it's very black because uh, when silver when a hyaluronic acid attacks silver it's actually not dissolve him but it's turned black because oxidation but got still some dirt here now I will just go straight to melodies and see actually how much silver I can get when I melt this into little bead okay let's go okay guys so after I melt all this remains I end up with this little bit of silver and actually I am pretty satisfied see that I expect a little less but this look very good it's not shiny not that shiny on this side but on this side it's very very good very good it's very clean so let's see how much amount silver we get from all this all that tactical switch 5.5 gram not bad not bad at all you need to know that uh, this tiny dot is very small on tactical switch and from all that amount we got a lot a lot of junk but this is a pure silver which I get from this tactical switch and it is a 5.5 gram not bad so I hope you like that video if you like that video subscribe for more and we will see you around in some next test, test next gold recovery some next funny video or something similar I don't know what will cross my mind okay see you around guys Friend Ocean out.